everybody uh, thanks for stopping at my channel um i don't have a build today but i do have something i want to show you i built a couple weeks ago and it's this, this pirate ship right here but first i want to say this is a, a toy from toymakingplans.com if you go to their website they have uh, hundreds of toys cars trucks trains planes you name it they got it there um easy to build and what's nice about it is it's a pdf download so you uh, make your purchase and then you just get a PDF download and save to your computer. Now on this particular toy, it's a 61 page PDF download. You get 61 pages. Um, you don't need all 61 pages to make this toy. On the front of the uh, PDF download, you'll see on page three, there is an index right here and the index will show you what each 61 pages has on it, and basically uh, pages 20 through 35 are the only pages that you really need to make this toy. It's got all the, the um, patterns on it for cutting out uh, the parts. You put the parts on your pieces of wood. It's got all the parts on it. So them are the only pages you really need. All the other pages of this toy PDF file is just different uh, views of the toy different angles you can look at it to see how it's put together um, just different views and then also in the back of this uh, 61 pages you can actually print out um, a page here that you could actually tape to a box it's got handcrafted by you could put your name there and it's got a picture of the toy um, also back here, it'll tell you the size of the box, and this is really nice. The company that makes these toys, creates these patterns, they even tell you the size of the box that you need to order from Uline.com to put this box, this toy in. So if you're going to send this toy to a, a child or wrap it up for a Christmas present, you just go to uline.com, order this size of box. This one is 18 by 18 by 8, and the ship should fit really nice right inside that box. And I'll put all the links below for that, so you can go to that. Um, then also, what I want to say is, if you would print this out on your printer at home, it would take an awful lot of ink and an awful lot of paper. So what I do is I download the pattern, put it on a thumb drive, and then I go to my local print shop, and I will uh, have them print out a master copy, 61 pages. Um, they use a little better paper, and it's not going to cost you a whole lot to have that done. And then I'll have them also print out um, some extra pages for pages uh, 20 through 35. Them are the pages that you need to build this plan. Uh, them are the pages that you will uh, cut up. So you have all your parts um, to put on your pieces of wood because you don't want to cut up your master copy. This is, and they even staple it really nice for you. So this is your master copy. You don't want to cut this up. Um, I also keep a copy of this uh, PDF file on my computer. Um, and then when I start my build, what I'll do is I'll keep this aside. Uh, I can always look into that. Also in that PDF file is two pages or one page, depending on the size of the toy. It'll have all the parts list. And these parts will tell you the width, the, the thickness, width, and length of every part, how many parts you need of each piece. Uh, this, this particular toy I think is like about 80 or 90 parts, I'm not sure, but it'll tell you all the information there. And then on the next page, It'll have a diagram that shows you how all the parts are laid out to make this toy, all the part numbers, so you can refer back to that, just exactly how it goes. So when I'm building my toy, I'll have this set aside to refer to. Then also, it's got some pages in the plan that will be the steps 1 through 22. This toy is 1 through 22. Step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so forth, all the way up to 22. It'll show you how to put everything together, what to glue and where to glue it. So um, that's pretty handy. So when I start building this toy, I'll have my master copy sitting and then I'll have my parts list sitting off to the side and I'll have this step illustration sitting off to the side. 
So that way I can refer back to all of them. So here is the ship that I built. Um, and you'll notice on this boat right off the bat that I don't have the, the fancy cradle that they use to cradle this boat in. The front piece that goes up and then the piece in the back that goes up. I do have the stands on the ship, but I don't have the, the back and front cradle part. Um, and here's, and I do have them right here. I cut them out. I cut them out. I saved them. But the reason why I don't have it on this boat is because the front one didn't fit very well. The back one fit really good, but the front one didn't fit good. So I could have just made a new front one, um, but I didn't. So I just decided to leave it off. Um, but I did decide to keep the the stand part. I put that on. You you probably wouldn't even need this if you didn't want to. You could sit right on the flat part of the boat. But I put the stand pieces on. And then right away you're going to notice too is the boat is two different colors. And what I do is instead of buying different colors of wood, which you could, I just use different colors of stain and stain it so it appears to be uh, a light wood and a dark wood. I think this is walnut stain I used on there. Uh, and then the, the cannons, I painted them black. But um, I just used two different colors of stain to make it appear this way. So you, you basically use your uh, uh, step illustration and you start from step one and you basically build the bottom. And this top comes right off on this boat. You build your bottom and then you get to your first floor. Now you'll notice on my floors that I do have them looking exactly like uh, wooden deck floors. The bottom floor, this top floor right here, and then this also this floor on this top part of the deck. It actually looks just like a wooden deck floor. And what I did was take my ruler and I drew out all the lines. When I cut out this floor piece, I drew out all the lines and then I took my wood burner and I burnt all the lines with my wood burner to make it look like a wooden deck. And then I took, uh, I think it's walnut stain, and I went over the top of it with walnut stain. So that is, it makes it look just like a wooden deck floor. So that turned out really nice. I love how that looked. Um, and then the floors, these pieces here are actually Baltic birch plywood. Uh, it, the, the ship is made out of Baltic birch plywood and pine. Um, so the floors get glued on top of the bottom pieces that you glue together here. You want to make sure when you build these plans that you, uh, measure twice and only cut once. I mean, really measure everything, dry fit stuff. So it fits before you glue it. Um, that's really important. And then when you, when you get to that point, we're making these floors. These floors got two holes in it right here. And them two holes are for to hold the mast when you put this piece back on this toy. It goes to the mast. These two, this is actually two pieces of wood right here. And you got the hole going through it, and you got the hole going through the top piece on the top floor. You want to make sure that these holes are lined up all the way through. So everything sits and lines up, and it lines up with the bottom right here so it sits down on top of the toy really nice. Um, you just want to make sure you do that, dry fit that before you glue everything. And then you want to make sure there's enough sticking through to hold that really nice in there. Um, I'm not exactly sure that's exactly the way the plan called for it, but that's the way I did it. Um, then the cannons, there's several different pieces that make this cannons and they sit in the squares like that there. Um, the holes, the cannons all move. They all move up and down. The holes are drilled in. These are half inch dowels, I believe, and I drilled a quarter inch hole on the end of them. And when I drill my holes inside dowels, I usually will take a, a, a dowel and stick it in the headstock of my wood lathe. Then in the tailstock, I'll use a, a Forstner bit and I'll drill into that dowel to drill that hole. It's a lot easier doing it that way than doing it on your drill press. So them turned out really nice. Um, make sure you dry fit things, even the, the walls up here when you put things, make sure everything fits nice before you put it together. Also up here, you'll see, this is where the steering wheel 
actually goes. I don't have that on yet because I'm going to order some. I found some that look just like ship wheels. Um, they do have just a regular round disc that you can glue on here in the plan, but I wanted something more authentic looking. So um, I'm going to order some ship uh, steering wheels to glue on there. Um, as far as the mast, make sure you use straight dowels. You want them straight up and down when you look at it. So try to get a real straight dowel. Uh, the bottom dowel is bigger than the top dowel. And then these crow's nest up here, it's just basically discs. These were dowels. And I just, like I said before, I put them in my wood lathe and I drill the holes in them. And then you can attach. This is actually one dowel and this is another dowel. So they're attached by these uh, discs in the middle. And this is supposed to represent the crow's nest. Um, as far as the... The um, sales go. The sales, the plans call for 3 16th Baltic Birch. I didn't have 3 16th Baltic Birch, so I used 8th inch. I think it turned out really nice with 8th inch. Then I just used these 8th inch dowels for the top. Um, and then the flags. The flags are the same shape as the ship, but you'll notice on on this here flag and the very middle one right here, I got a uh, crossbones and skull picture on there. And all I did was download a picture of crossbones and skull on the internet with a black background. I glued it using Mod Podge on the flag. Then I painted the flag all black. So it just, all you see is the bones and the crossbones. I thought that was an added touch. So one thing about these plans with, uh, this company is, uh, they're really accurate. Uh, I haven't found any mistakes with them as far as the measurements, but make sure you check all the measurements. And you can do things different. You don't have to exactly go by the plan. You can do things different. I stain this two different colors. You could paint this. You could do anything you want with the color of this. Also, this ship comes with uh, the little pirates. I made them out of uh, maple. Yeah, it comes, I got five here. I think the ship actually comes with eight or nine pirates with it. And when you put your masks, mask in, I always made sure my pirates fit underneath the sail part. So they walk underneath. You always want to make sure. And that would give me an idea what the height should be of these masks. So um, that looks nice that way. Um... And then also on this ship, it's got some cannons in the back. These don't move. Um, they're just glued in there permanently. So they look nice coming out the back. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty easy build. Just read instructions, do your measurements, um, and, and, and think it through before you actually glue something on because you don't want to spend time working on a toy and then you got to break a part off or do something like that. So just take your time. So everything fits right. Um, so yeah, other than that, it, it looks pretty nice. I, I like the build. Um, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up because that um, really helps my channel. Also, the important thing is hit the subscribe button because uh, you want to see future videos. Get that Hit that bell because that's going to notify you when I come out with more videos. And I do have more videos uh, coming out. Um, winter is approaching, so I'll be in the shop a lot more. So hit that bell so you can get notified. And also, um, just um, take your time doing the, the toy. It's, it's, it's well worth it if you take your time and measure everything out. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you next time um, on my next video.